Hi there, today's video we're going to be looking at this Furby Connect um, and this particular one's got a problem uh, where it doesn't uh, sound anymore so we're going to look at repairing that. So if I just show you first what the problem is, this is where it should wake up and as you'll see, so there you go, so it's uh, this is where it should be making some sound um, and especially wiggling that about should uh, be making lots of sound. So. So first, first uh, job of course is obviously to replace the batteries. Uh, so, so once you've done that and it's still not working, um, then uh, I'll show you the, the, the next stage of the repair. The next step is to uh, take off the uh, battery compartment at the bottom. Okay, and using a very small screwdriver like uh, the one I'm using here, remove all these screws all the way around. Okay, and the, uh, the fur part just sort of lifts uh, over these little catches here, as you can see, little spikes. Taking it down over the Furby. Okay, um, this is the uh, towel, so that's gonna need to come off as well. So let's just unhoop that from there. Okay, so the next step to this repair is to put all the batteries back into place so we can um, basically get the, the electronics sort of flowing. Um, and then obviously that helps us diagnose where the actual problem is. So I'm sort of checking out some of the wires just to make sure none of them have been snagged. Um, but, but most importantly, is this is the part here under this side of the Furby is where the actual speaker is located. And you'll still see there. Now here's a, a, a trick that I found that if you um, very gently, so you don't actually pierce the speaker, but just in the middle of it, just put a bit of pressure and wait for him to talk. So just uh, that that basically then tells you that the uh, the speaker is the faulty part of the of the Furby, which may, may sound obvious, but of course it could have been a, a loose wire somewhere. But no, it's the actual um, speaker. Um, and what tends to go on these is um, is that there's a, like a little wire that sort of connects two parts of the speaker together. Um, and because it's a moving part, so it's obviously got the vibrations of the speaker to make it work. Um, that just gets worn out over time. To be replaced ideally, um, although I have got a repair which I'm about to show you. Um, there are actually three repairs. I'm going to just show you the easy one now. Um, but if you wasn't keen on this repair or you want to see my other ones, um, then I've got a video at the end of this video um, which show, shows you how to repair a, a, a different Furby but the principle is the same. Okay, so all we're going to need is a simple paper clip. Okay, just put the Furby there. So because um, it's a little bit of a curve on the plastic, just sort of uh, bend it in the middle a little bit. So it's not completely flat anymore. There we go, so a small curve. So it just uh, goes it sort of wraps around the shape of the Furby quite well. Okay, so with this middle piece here, just need to um, just to sort of get it and bend it downwards. Um, it's not quite all the way um, straight down. It's a, a, a slight angle. So, so we'll try that. And this is the bit sort of needs a little bit of adjusting to get to the right height. But essentially, paper clip with a little bend, slight curve to it. Um, and then just the the end part sort of coming out at an, at an angle. What we're looking to do is have this uh, middle part here going into the um, centre hole where the speaker is. Okay. Um, and the height of it needs to be so it's um, not sort of protruding too much. Um, but it's got enough pressure when we put here that it's kind of pushing the um, the speaker downwards a little bit. So this can be a little bit higher. Okay. So that's 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 about perfect. That is. So it's um, like there's enough pressure to put in the speaker down. Um, but it's not sticking up too much either. So once you've got that in place like so, just need to get some sellotape. Um, and with the uh, sellotape, you just need to sort of tape it down the um, the bottom half. So obviously the the speaker holes is where the, the volume comes out. So if you cover that, it'll be a, make it um, a, bit, a bit quieter. Just going across the bottom of the paper clip, holding it into place. Okay, make sure that's down firmly. 
Okay, so that's the uh, paper clip in place, got a bit of sellotape there. Um, the next part of this fix is to uh, get an elastic band um, about this sort of size, um, which uh, means it can sort of stretch over nicely the Furby and then helps keep the uh, paper clip in place. So if we just hold it there with our thumb and then stretch it all the way around. Obviously be careful not to um, pull the the skin of the Furby down too too much otherwise you might sort of like pull some of the wires so so this all sort of goes all the way around as you can see there so there you go um, and we just need it to go over the center of the paper clip there okay okay so just make sure that's all the way around um, and that's it let's pull this back over and start putting the Furby back together. Obviously, I mean, it would be a good idea now to sort of um, test that the uh, the repair is working. So um, I'll just uh, just do that just in case you've, you've the paper clip's not quite long enough, it's not quite making a connection or something. But yeah, just do a quick test before you put it all back together. Okay, so just test out, make sure that speaker fix is uh, working in the in the right place. Okay, so that sounds uh, <laughs> so that sounds all good, um, which means we can sort of carry on putting all the uh, Furby back together now. So we just get to the um, towel, we just need to hook that back in. Okay, so sort of turn the towel inside out until you see the, the hoop. Um, and then one hoop goes inside the other. Okay, so like so. And this part just hooks over here. Okay, so okay, so that's working. Um, so then we just need to put all this uh, fur back over here, and just sort of see all these spikes around the edge. So this just needs to kind of go over them and get pushed down. Okay, so that's as good as new. Furby's happy about it. Can talk again now. No, but seriously, I love this. There you go. Well happy about it, loves it. Oh, right. Okay, that's it for me. Um hopefully you found that um that fix helpful. Um and if so, please do click on that like um to help us out. Also subscribe for any more videos like this, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.